Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, hello, Jose. Hello. Hey, yeah, can you hear me? Uh, I can. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good evening. Pretty good. Uh, Connie, sure. good Connie, evening. good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Great seeing you. Uh, let's see who else at uh, Jose Jorge, Jorge Morales. Hello, good evening. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I can hear you. All right. Mm -hmm. And Jacqueline with, with K. Jacqueline Mejia. Hello, Jackie. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome to a new model in your English improvement. Congratulations if you are in this new course. That means that you are improving every time. My name is uh, Teacher Luis. I will be with you since today in this new course that we will begin this this day tonight better okay perfect let's see uh, gil gil herme andreata hello hello teacher curious curious name what is your name uh, sir my name is from brazil Ah, okay. It's a Brazil, yeah. Brazilian yeah. name. Because oh. I'm bird, I I birth in the, in Brazil. It's a Guillermo in Portuguese. Ah, but you were born in Brazil. Uh, uh what? You, Excuse you me. You were you were born in Brazil. Born. Uh huh. Born baby. Yeah. Brazil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's cool. Okay, good. Good, good. Guillermo, right? Yeah, Guillermo. In Spanish. Right. Perfect. Okay, Tempo. let's see. Perfect. Uh, Susana, like the song. Susana. Hello, Susana. Good evening. Okay, guys. Pretty cool. Guys, uh, one of the indications in the course is that you turn on your camera. It's important. Uh, to turn it on for the interaction, don't be shy, okay? Perfect, thank you very much. I am using my camera all the time. If you have camera, use it, no problem. If you have issues with the sound, you can deactivate it, but I prefer that you have your camera on all the time. Okay, guys, pretty cool. Let's kick off this class already. Welcome to uh, pre-intermediate, right? Model one or two? Right. Two. Number two. All right. Perfect. Okay. To be, to make sure. All right. Perfect. Let's see. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what I project, what I show you and the things that we are going to be doing, etc. Okay, good. I am sharing already. You see it, guys? You see the screen? Yes, teacher. What, what yes. is that? What's that in the picture? You, you know that place? It's a skate, it's a skate uh, park. Yeah, it is a skate, uh, a skate, a a skate, skate park. park. Correct, yes. It is as a skate, a park for skating. Yes, that's right. Pretty cool. Uh, we would like one of those, right? I would like to skate, but I can. I would like to, but I can. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, I have a bike, but a skate is uh, kind of difficult for me. Yes, but I have a bike. Nice. Okay, let's open the first class. Uh, welcome, guys. Pretty cool to see you. We are going to be interacting in a moment. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, welcome to class number one. Okay. Two pre-intermediate model two. Pretty good. 
excellent, guys, that you are in this course. Ah, uh, this is half in Spanish. Pre intermediate should be, but I will fix it. No problem. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jorge, uh, Jorge, can you read this small paragraph for the class, please? Okay. Congratulations for being in this new course. Together, we will learn new things and will improve in this great language with effort and dedication to study will be better. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, keep on um, with English. Keep on, keep on is continue, all right? Don't stop, continue learning English. Keep on, keep on doing that. Perfect, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, let's review the indications that we have in the class. Please uh, help me. Susana, you are going to be helping me in this opportunity with the indications. Go ahead, please. Some indication first. You complete name in Zoom platform exam, Miguel Antonio Lopez. Camera on all the time during the, meet, the meeting. Camera, yeah. Okay. A quiet place for a better concentration. Mm -hmm. uh, connect at 8, 8 p.m. Uh -huh. Or five or, minutes. Or five minutes early before the class. Yeah, five minutes early before the class is fine. Yes. Okay. Be attentive. What is be Not attentive? It. What is be attentive, guys? No distraction. <laughs> For okay. TV, radio, etc., uh, <laughs> etc. Et we say etc. Pretty similar, uh, etc. Okay. okay, we are, we are gonna be uh, speaking a lot. We are gonna improve pronunciation a lot. Radio. Let's repeat radio, guys. Radio. Radio. Radio, radio. radio. radio Shack, like similar, right? Radio Shack. Okay. Well, like radio. radio. Yes. Okay. No distractions, remember. And finally, uh, Susana? Uh, part participation is always important. Yes. Check. Particip participation is always important. The more you participate, you will learn, you will improve. Okay, that's important. Thank you. Um, and this is about the platform, the assistance. Remember that you have com to complete 80% in the assistance, uh, the daily connection in your classes, that is uh, 60 minutes, one hour equivalent, your camera, your name, and that's it, no more. Okay, pretty good. Uh, let's see, uh, what about that, uh, Guillermo? What about this? If you, can you read it, Guillermo? Hello, hello. Attentive, attentive, Jose. Okay, Jose Jimenez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. Okay, good. If you have a doubt or question, ask at any time. Anytime, at yes. Teacher, okay. question, teacher, a doubt. You can ask me, no problem. Perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, that, that is some information about me, but that's not important. Okay, and the four skills that we're going to practice, number one. Speaking. Uh -huh. Listening. Grammar right. practice. Now, what is the most difficult uh, skill that you have in English? What is the most difficult part for you? Maybe for yeah. me, speaking. Speaking, okay. I will make you speak a lot. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline, and you, what is the most difficult part in English? Grammar. Grammar. <laughs> grammar. The always grammar, right? Kind of boring, but necessary. <laughs> it's true. Okay, uh, what about you, Gilbert, Gilbert? Hello, Mr. Gilbert? El uh, Gilbert. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Most difficult <laughs> part in English for you, tell me. Yeah, uh, grammar and speaking. As well, grammar and speaking. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be working on that, guys, don't worry. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, great. Okay, and 
I'm gonna show you how to use those tools. We have uh, two dictionaries and as last resource, ultimo recurso, okay, last resource, Google Translate. Teacher, but teachers uh, say that don't use Google Translate, yes and no, okay, yes and no, uh, but I will show you. Okay, pretty good guys, uh, let's see. Before we begin, I'm gonna play this video for you. We're gonna watch it just once, okay? Just uh, give me one sec to uh, play it for you, okay? Attention please for this video. ¿Qué te hace sudar? Solo Rexona Clinical te ofrece tres veces más okay, protección en cualquier situación. El sudor por sanar a tu crush. No importa qué te haga sudar. Rexona Clinical, tres veces más protección. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de Insafor y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista 
y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Ok, did you listen, guys? Yeah, did you listen the video, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, okay, I was thinking, did I activate the, the sound video or this video sound? Okay, but great. Perfect, cool. Let's begin already with the class. Let's advance. Okay, we are going to make uh, these a little bit in these uh, three, four minutes. Please, uh, guys, can you introduce yourself with the class? Mention your name, your age, uh, the residence uh, where you live as a Tatecla, etc. If you are married or single, children or pets. Okay, just uh, three of you. Let's see, I uh, will select, select, select. Erika, hello, Erika. Can you introduce with the class? Hello, good night. Hello. Yeah. Okay. My name, uh, my name is Erika Rodriguez. I am 54. All right. 54. 54. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. what, what is your age? How old are you? La edad. Ajá, ¿qué edad tiene? Can you mention the number in Spanish? ¿Qué número? En español. Hello? Erika, hear me? Ah, okay, okay, no problem, Erika. Uh, maybe Jacqueline, can you continue, please? Hello, good evening. My name is I'm 32 years old. I live in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I don't have a child. In no pets. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. You live in Cincinnati, the coconut land, right? Coconut <laughs> land. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, yes. Okay, coconut land. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Jorge, your turn. Hello, guys. Uh, good evening. My name is Jorge Morales. My age is... Uh, uh, I am. One. I am. So, ah, oh, perdón. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, 30, 31 years old. I Perfect. live in uh, San Salvador. Uh, Marital status, single, status, married, single. divorced. Yeah. Uh, no children. Uh, one pet. Uh, my cat, cat, uh, Katy. Agatha. Ah, cat's name is? Agatha. Agatha Christie, right. <laughs> okay. <Cool. laughs> yeah. I knew, I knew. Okay, perfect, perfect. One more because of the time. One more. Tomorrow we will practice uh, introducing. One more, please. One more, one more. Don't be shy, Hello, guys. Teacher. Yes. Hello, teacher. Okay. My name is Guillermo Andreata. I have 40 years old. My re my residence, I live in... Uh, um, hold. Santa Tecla. My marital status, I have a, a wife. I have three children, two girls and one boy. And I have two pets, two dogs. Two dogs, okay, perfect, yeah. thank you. 
Thank you so much. That's great. Okay, tomorrow we will practice that. Don't worry, guys. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, keep on uh, keep on learning some English with uh, some activities. What is the indication in this one, Susanna? What's the indication here? Can you read it? Okay. Some activities, guess the activities according with the picture. Yeah, guess, like the perfume, guess, right? Like, like, like the perfume, guess. Okay. What is the activity that you see in this picture? Guys? Exercise. Uh, exercise. Yes, uh, yeah, exercise uh, or exercising. Exercise. Yes, or exercising. Yes. Okay. Activity number two. I like that one. Skateboard. Skating. 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 Most of the activities that we mention in English, they have ing. Skating, reading, practicing English, etc. Yes, ing. Uh, this one. Cooking. Cooking. Yes, I Cooking. like this activity because I like I like eating a lot. <laughs> yeah. Next. Painting. Painting. Uh -huh. Painting. Correct. Painting. That is an activity. Painting. This one, pretty cool activity. Uh, watching TV. Watching movie. Movie. Movies. Watching, watching movie. movies. Yes. Watching you like movie. movies. You like watching movies? Yeah. You do? Okay. Yes, I like. I do. Yeah, yes, movies I do. Movies are great. Great. Ah, uh, perfect. This one, that activity, the jogi bird. Camping. 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 Campament. Cam camping. Camping. Because it's the activity. Yeah, camping Camp. is the activity. Camp is the place. Camp is the place, the camp. Okay, but the activity is camping, yes. And finally, surfing. The two of surfing. 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 surfing, correct. Surf. Punta Roca is a pretty famous, right? For surfing yeah. in El Salvador. Pretty cool. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Okay, let's practice asking about frequency. Uh, okay, let's. We are gonna see if it's a frequency or frequency because it's different. Okay, indication. Uh, please, uh, Connie, Connie, Connie. What's this indication? Can you read it? Yes, we use often a uh, ever type or express the frequency with those something okay perfect we use often and the next word is ever everyone we have two options often and ever to talk or express the frequency we do an activity let's see um the first option is often, often. For questions. questions. Often for questions. Yeah. What is uh, the example that you see in this in this part? How often do you watch cartoons? Uh, How often do you watch cartoons? Uh, let's see. I, I sometimes watch uh, Goku. I sometimes watch on Facebook some videos about Goku. Yes. Yeah. Um. I sometimes remember in these questions, you have to use the frequency adverbs. Do you remember frequency adverbs in English? Did you study them? Frequency adverbs. Ah, uh -huh, the frequency, correct. Frequency adverbs. Often is one. I often play oh, soccer. Sometimes. Sometimes. Usually. 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 Correct. I highly, highly Always. ever. Hardly, uh, hardly ever. Hardly like the motorcycle. I hardly ever, yes. Hardly always. Ever. Always. Uh -huh. Always is another one. Correct. Um, any Never. Difference? Never. Yeah. Zero. Zero frequency. I never eat conchas. I never eat conchas. Never. Pretty good. Okay. You remember. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what is the next option? Remember, you have. How often? Remember, how often, how often, how often do you for direct questions? The next option is? Ever. 
ever for questions. For questions. But this one is a little bit different. Can you read it? Do you ever go Do you to ever movies? go to the movies? Um let's see. Uh, I hardly I hardly ever go to the movies. And you? Do you ever go to the movies? Guys? Do you ever go to Cinemark or uh, Cinepolis? Mm. Yeah, on Wednesday. Uh, okay, great. But remember to use frequency adverbs because we are talking about frequency. Okay. When you the question. Uh -huh. Ah, correct. I, I sometimes. I sometimes to go go to uh Wednesdays to the movies on Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Correct. Okay. okay. I sometimes repeat it. I repeat sometimes, it. I sometimes I sometimes go, I sometimes to, the movies, go to the movies. To the movies on Monday. On, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Correct. On Wednesday. Okay. Pretty good. What is the difference with often it's open question open because you have wh see how often but with ever is is close close question do you ever it is asking alguna vez vas al cine uh let's see do you ever uh do you ever drive guys do you ever drive albert yeah every, every day is i drive <laughs> ah okay i remember I subject I I uh -huh. I'm, I'm driving every day. I always I always I always drive. Yeah, I always drive. I around. always drive. That is what you need. You don't need more. I always drive. Yeah. Okay. Thank because you. we are using frequency adverbs. Uh, let's see, uh, Carmen. Uh, how often do you cook, Carmen? I never do teacher. <laughs> really? I always. Ah, okay. I always cook. Cook. That's it. I always cook. Subject, frequency, adverb, and the verb. That's it. Uh, mm -hmm. And you, Mercedes, how often? How often do you visit uh, your family, Mercedes? Mercedes? Nope. Erica. If you can, guys, if you have problems, use the chat. You can use the chat, but it's better than speaking. Remember, Ana Cristina, how often uh, do you visit your, your family? Ana, Jacqueline? Mm -hmm. Hola. Hello. Anna? Yeah, I hear you. We hear you. How often? How often? How often do you visit your family? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay, no problem. We're gonna continue practicing this. Teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me. I usually for the I no sé cómo decir los fines de semana. Ah, uh, guys, can you help your classmates? On weekends. Weekend. On weekends. On weekends. All right. On weekends. I, I, I have some time visit my friend at the weekend. On weekends. On weekends. Hey, yeah. teacher, but why, why is on? I don't understand why people say on. Because a weekend is a specific Saturday and... Okay, perfect. And uh, Monday. Sunday. And Sunday. Sunday. Those Sunday. days are specific. Hey, do you, do you, ever, uh, do you ever rest? On the weekend, do you ever rest? Yeah. Uh, sad. Only ever. Oh, you work. Do you always in my work? Case, in my case, no, I, I am free time the, the, week, the, the weekend. No free time? No, I am free time. I have free time. Ah, okay. I am free. I am free. Ah, teacher, estoy libre los fines de semana. How do I say that? ¿Cómo digo eso? Uh, I, estoy libre I, los fines. I free I have, free time. 
I am. I am free time on the free weekend. Free time on on weekend. On weekends, correct. Yeah. Okay, guys, I use uh, I use a word for these cases. Okay, if you want to take notes, it's fine. All right, but remember that the class is a recording. All right, you can double check the class in, in any other moment. Okay, pretty good. So you say, let's see, I am free. Mm -hmm. I am free on? On weekends. On weekends. Aha, y que no descanso a los lo fines. Como digo, no descanso a los fines. I'm I'm busy on weekend. Ah, uh, yeah, that is one option. I am busy on weekends. Okay, I am busy. All right, I am busy. This is one option with the verb to be. Pero si quiero decir yo no 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 hago eso no lo otro. You have the option to use the. I don't press. I don't. I don't correct. I don't rest. Rest, correct. Mm, Compliment. On weekend. On weekend. weekend. All right. I don't rest on weekend. All right. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. You have two options, or using the word to be, or we the. We can say, sorry, it's teacher, uh, or we can say I work every day of the week. Ah, uh, yeah. You can say, ah, no, teacher. I I don't rest. I work every day <laughs> during the week. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. That's fine. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's continue with with this, with this, with this. Okay, no, this is already done. Okay, we are in this part. Let's see. We use responding, responding with what is the title? Title, title. Responding. Title. What title, what title teacher? Uh, this one, the one that is in orange. No, and don't, don't see the the. Ah, am, am I much. not hearing? No, they don't show anything. Oh, ah, okay. Let me see that, but I didn't deactivate this. I don't know what happened. I don't feel it. Uh, just give me one sec. There it is a sharing. I don't know what happened. Okay, now. Yes, the screen. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, we are here in this part. Okay, we were in this one, but now we are in this part. Okay, responding with with time expression expression time expressions. Yes. Okay, we use guys. Remember your participation in the class is a value, so it's important. If you have the opportunity to read, when you read, you practice. Uh -huh. We use? We use the, time the, time we use the time expression to answer mm -hmm. about the frequency mm -hmm. with something. We, we do sometimes. Something. Something. Uh, uh, teacher, but time expressions, what, what is that? They are easy. Example number one. Every day. Every day. Every, day. every day. every day. What is the meaning of day. every day? What is the um, meaning? Yes. Ah, correct. Uh, how often do you take a shower? Every day I have a I take a shower. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> frequency adverse, all right? Remember, frequency adverse. I always. Huh? I always take a shower. Or you can say, I take a shower every day. Every day. Every you have day. two options. You have two options <coughs> with frequency adverse or with time expression. You can use time expressions as well. También puedo usar time expressions. Okay, good. Uh, next. Once a week. Once a week. Una vez a la semana. Una vez a la semana. Una vez a la semana. 
Ah, okay. How often do you work, guys? How often do you work? <laughs> I <laughs> once a week and now I don't believe. No, it is not correct, right? It's not <laughs> correct because if you work every day, once a week is not the correct option for you. All right, but good. Number five. Excuse me. Uh huh. Repeat it, please. I, I couldn't hear you. Option number five. Ah, option number five. Ah, okay, okay, but we are gonna get there in a moment. This one. Twice, twice a month. month. Twice. What is twice? Twice a month. 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 Twice Quick. Ah, okay, don't confuse, don't confuse Quick. because week, month, yes. Okay, next. Three times. Three times a year. Three times a year. Three times a year. Three times a year. How often do you go, how often do you go to the beach, guys? Once a week. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, good. Once a week. Really? That's nice. Pretty cool. Once a week, so that means that you go to the beach four times a month because every week, every weekend, that's cool. Cool, cool. All right, pretty cool. Three times a year is tres, right? Tres veces a life. And finally, we have often, often, much. often, often. or much, or much. much. And that means much the first uh, row at the second uh, uh, um, oh. much often and much is this one. See the first option yes. in the second the column. Yeah, correct. On the second column, but the first one, yes. A menudo or mucho, much. All right, pretty cool. Guys. These ones are the sometimes expressions, but for the simple present. You cannot use them for the simple past. This is only simple present. Remember, simple present. We're going to be practicing this. Don't worry. Okay. Next, uh, can you help me with uh, the indication, uh, Gilbert? How do you pronounce your name? Gilbert or, or Gilbert? Leo, Leodan. Ah, nice. Gilbert. Gilbert, okay. Gilbert. How do you, what, which one do you prefer? Gilbert or Leodan? Gilbert. Gilbert, okay, pretty cool. Okay, can you read uh, the indications? But first, the title, titulo. Affirmative. Affirmative plus, plus and negative, and negative sentences. 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 Okay, we're gonna practice this. Uh, continue with the indication, Albert. Albert. Hello, Albert. Hello. Perfect. What is the indication, Albert? We use the time expression to answer about the frequency. We do something. Okay, pretty good. Remember. Can you make questions with? Often, ever. Or, Often, ever. Or ever. Okay, uh, let me see. Carmen, make a question for, uh, let's see, for Jorge Morales. You decide, okay? You decide to use often or ever okay. with the first one. Okay. 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 Um, um, the question is you of, Jorge, remember. Do you often play football soccer? All right. Okay. Time, 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 tempo, time. Can you repeat? How, it? how often play this football is. soccer? Ah, okay. 
I heard this, Joy. How often do you, kind of like this? How often do you ever kind? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember, if you want to use often, is, si quiero usar often, the word is? How. How, correct. How often. How often. Correct, how often. Or if you want to use ever, the word yes. is? Do you ever? Do. do. Why? Because okay. this open question. How often? How often? Uh -huh. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. This is open question and this is closed question. Una es abierta porque usamos how often, qué tan a menudo. La otra, the other one is closed. It's, it's back directly. Okay, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, very Thank good. You. That's why we are practicing. Por eso estamos practicando. Good. Okay. Again, Carmen. How you, how often is, verdad, teacher? Yes. Okay. How often play football soccer? And the greeting. Y el saludo para, uh, para hey, Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Hi. Like My that, turn. right? My turn. Okay. okay, don't forget the greeting. Hi, Jorge. Uh, Jorge. How often uh, do you play uh, football soccer? Um, um, maybe uh, uh, one and two day uh, on weekend. On week, pardon. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Guys, okay, let me show you this. If you want to use the frequency adverse, if you use the frequency adverse, is okay. like this. Basi, the subject plus the frequency okay. adverb. If a, eso significa frequency adverb. What is next? ¿Qué va después? What's next? Compliment. The complement. I always play soccer. Verbo. The verb. Correct. Don't forget the verb. Don't forget the verb, it's important, correct. Plus? Complement. Okay. Plus the complement, correct. I always play soccer, this is the one. But if you want to use, si quiero usar, the time expressions, time expressions is kind of different, a little bit, poquito different. Subject, I play soccer, what is next? The expression. The expression. Birth. Birth. I, uh -huh. I play soccer. Play. What is play? The uh, verb. verb. The verb. Correct. Next. The verb. Uh -huh. the expression. I play soccer. Soccer. Oh. Oh, let's say the complement. All right. Complement plus at the end is the time expression aha example ah uh, i play soccer uh, can you re can you repeat your answer uh Jorge? um creo que quería usar la time expression right yeah yeah ah okay um so yeah uh, subject uh, say subject i i Play correct. Uh, football, football, um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, bueno, podría cambiarlo con between, between, uh, oh, uh, time expression. Time expression. Oh, okay, uh, um, what one year, year two day, twice. Okay. Okay. Once? Uh, and one and two. Okay, once, a week. Once. once a week, una vez a la semana, una vez al mes. Uh, once a um, week. Once a week. Okay, very good. That's it. Now, uh, Jorge, with frequency advert, uh, how often do you play soccer? With frequency advert. 
Uh, subject, remember. In English, uh, all the time is, if it's you, si es usted, right? I, 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 I always. Okay. I uh, always play football. I oh, always okay. play football. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, because that is one option, yes. I always play football. That's I, or I always play uh, PlayStation. <laughs> uh, okay, but we are not asking about uh, <laughs> We're asking about okay. football, soccer, but yeah, you're right. It is the same thing, la misma cosa, right? I right. always play football, see? With frequency advert, I guess that, with frequency advert, or if you want to use the time expression, time expression. correct, this is the way. Time expression goes at the end, but final, see? Once a you, week. Correct. At the end. All right? Clear? Perfect. Okay. Let's continue practicing. Uh, next participant in this class is going to be uh, Guillermo. Make a question for Anna Cristina with these options. You have the options. Option, often and ever, and the complement. Okay. Hello, Anna Cristina. How are you? Hey, Cristina, do you ever eat sushi? <laughs> um, I am not. Uh, never. Okay, let's see. Chris Anna said, I am not uh, never. Uh -huh. Never sushi. It's sushi. sushi. Hey, I love sushi. I, hey, I, I don't know. I, I love it. <laughs> nice, delicious. Love sushi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is this correct or not correct? Is not correct. correct. I'm not never eat sushi. Why is why is not correct, guys? Why? Um, it's not verb. I don't need this eating. One. Verb. I eating. Verb. El verbo tenía que haber dicho eating. Ah, uh, okay. Just a moment. Okay, guys. Because we are using activities, we are talking about frequency adverbs. We are using the word often and the word ever for questions. This is basically simple present tense, all right? It's not correct because we are not using verb to be in the simple present exactly. tense. Uh -huh. like we are like using often or ever, all right? This is simple okay. present. So you don't need it. verb to be. Verb to be, no. No bird to be. Ah, okay. I know. No bird to be. I deleted. And now? Is that correct? I never, I never did. did. I need the bird. Correct. I... Uh huh. Check. Yeah. I, I never. Never. Eat. eat, eat, eat normal. Normal bird. Sushi. 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 Correct. I, I never eat. Eat sushi. I never eat sushi. It? I never eat sushi. Anana. I uh -huh. never, I never eat sushi. Eat sushi. You don't like sushi. Ah, you should try it. Debería probarlo. You should taste it. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Okay, Anna. See, now is correct. Ahora sí. Subject. Okay. Frequency adverb. Verb. Complement. Lo mismo que está acá. Check. Okay, very good. Anna, make a question for Jacqueline. You decide, often or ever. Follow the examples. You have one example in this part. Okay. Uh -huh. Question, Anna. Question for Jacqueline. Um, oh. Uh, okay, Jacqueline, can you make a question uh, for one of your classmates? 
Yes, yes. Yes. Hello. Okay, Hi. question. Hi, Oscar. How, how often play football soccer? Ah, no. Football soccer is already um, used. Uh, yes, so, so football soccer. It's sushi as well. Teacher, teacher, he likes football soccer. Ah, but you can you can make a different question. Uh -huh. Puede okay. ser diferente. Okay. You can make any type of question. ¿Lo puede hacer más chiquito? Ah, okay. All right. More. More. Go to the beach. Mm. Okay, guys. Can you make questions? Make questions okay. in this moment. Make me questions. To me. Okay. Is huh? the Oscar. How often? How, how often do you dance? Oscar, how often do you? Because it's, it's a question. Do you. Dance. I don't like. I don't like dance. Oh, you don't like dancing. Okay, all right. That's a, a valid answer. Okay, great, great, great. Let me see. I'm going to make a question for uh, Susana. Do you ever do you ever go to the salon, to the beauty salon? I, I want... One time, no, what time, uh, weekend, uh, okay. a week. Ah, okay, you want to use time expression. Yes. Time expression, okay. Repeat okay. your answer, please. I, I, I visit. Ah, uh, listen, ha, do you ever go to the salon? Do you ever uh, go to the beauty salon? Hmm? I, uh, Do you ever go to the beauty salon? I, what is the verb? I go. I go, correct. I go to beauty hmm. salon. Correct. Uh, hmm. One. Uh, at two. No, no, no. Ah, the best, guys. Oh. How do you say the okay. best? <laughs> one <laughs> salon. Uh, Every one, day. No, two, two, um, two times a month. Or two two times. times. Two times. Do we say two times? The two it's, times. Uh, let me check in the time expressions. Two times. Two times. It's twice a week. It's the same. No, uh, twice uh, a month. Ah, twice. twice. A month. No, it's twice twice a week is, is fine. Or you can say twice a month, twice a year. No problem. The okay. important is that you say twice a. Lo importante es twice a. All right. Uh -huh. okay. Twice uh, a month. Okay. Twice but can a I month. but he, he can use that to sign two is, is correct, teacher? Mister? Uh, excuse me? Can you repeat it? He he but he he she she can use two time instead uh twice twice is correct yeah twice four uh, two time four times what? five times correct yes that's correct but okay. if if you have more times three four five six etc okay. that's correct no problem okay perfect but for two for two is twice all right, finish, finish the, the sentence, please. Do you okay. ever go to the beauty salon? Twice a week. Only two is different. Yeah, only two, for two. Okay, okay. All right, only for two. Twice a month, okay, let's leave it twice a month. Guys, how often, <laughs> how often do you watch a series on Netflix? Uh huh. You don't like Netflix or HBO, HBO app. Porque I watch, I watch the movies always. Oh, oh excuse me. 
<laughs> I watch TV series once a month. Ah, okay, good. Okay, but remember, okay, I'm gonna copy this to the class and I will send it to you. Le voy a copiar eso en la clase, all right? Okay. This. Lo voy a poner ahí, aquí. Luego les explico cómo vamos a hacer para que tengan las presentaciones, para que puedan consultar. I don't remember, no me acuerdo cómo el teacher dijo, well, every day, once a week, twice, etc. Ok, I will explain that at the end. Voy a explicar eso at the end. Ok, ajá. ¿Cómo sería ahí? What is the correct? Ah, uh, hmm. que veo una serie tres veces a la semana, ¿cómo digo? Uh, I uh, watch the uh, TV series three times a week. I watch, I watch TV series. TV series. My on, three Netflix, on Netflix. On Netflix, three times. Three times. Three times. At, huh? at the week. At the weekend. Uh, week. A week. Week. Ah, pero y si quiero decir uh, solo en el fin de. What about that? At the weekend. Ah, I weekend. watch my TV series on Netflix on, on the weekend. weekend. Sorry. On the weekend. Or on weekend. Yes. On the weekend. On the weekend, on weekend. No problem. On weekend. Ah, you can use this one. Correct. Guys, on. how often? Uh, how often do you, uh, do you, I don't know, do you go to the park? Bicentenario Park. That's a great park. How often do you go to the Bicentenario Park? I never. <laughs> I never complete, but that's incomplete. I, I, I never, never go to the Bicentenario Park. <laughs> Correct. I, never I visit the never park. park. I, the, the opposite way. I never. I never visit park. Bicentenario Park. Uh -huh, correct. Can I say I never go to the Centenary Park? Correct. You can say it that way. You can say okay, it that way. No problem. Okay. The important part is that you respect the rule. Que respete la regla about the order, acerca del orden. The subject. But primero, subject. I. Frequency adverb? Never. Never, always, uh, sometimes, etc. Next. Go to. The verb, finally. Complement. The complement. Okay. Is yes, con time expression. What is the order? Subject. Uh -huh. Verb. verb. Complement. 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 Time expression. Time expression. At the end. Sorry. Okay. The important part is that you respect the order and, and that you practice with the questions. Okay, guys. Uh, two minutes uh, to finish the class. Okay, we're going to stop in this part. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch to Spanish to, to explain this. Voy a cambiar el español. Mañana, o, sí, mañana le voy a enviar un link al grupo de WhatsApp. Es el link, please, por favor. Lo copia, lo guarda en su celular, en un documento donde lo tenga listo. Ese link va a ser un link de Google Drive. Ahí voy a subir todas las presentaciones de, del grupo de su clase para que puedan descargar esta presentación y las demás. ¿Ok? okay. Uh, ¿Se entendió Thank esa you. parte? ¿Sí? Yes. <laughs> Por supuesto, sí. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Lo oí en español. No hubiera podido decir en inglés. I, 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 I understand. understand. Can you speak in, uh, explain ah, English? Okay. Okay. okay, now in Chinese, ahora en Chinese, vaya, ok, no guys, ese link les va a servir para descargar todas las presentaciones, a mí no me la van a pedir, porque para eso servirá el link, ok, mañana okay. se los envío al grupo de WhatsApp, una vez lo reciba, please, o le da una estrellita ahí para que lo guarde, a Star, para que lo guarde, no se le pierda, y así pueda descargar las presentaciones que yo les les comparto para que las tengan de consulta a la hora de hacer los assignments en la plataforma. Yes, Jorge. Uh, what is the homework, teacher? Ah, the homework. Okay. 
Um, le voy a agregar a la presentación también links de tareas. Cada vez que vean un link ahí, van a hacer practice, practice, ¿ok? Ejercicios de práctica. Yo aconsejo que los hagan antes de irse a la plataforma para que puedan practicar la estructura un poco y después hacerlo de la plataforma. La plataforma es siempre, siempre tienen que hacerlo, ¿ok? Ok. Pueden okay. avanzar lo que vale. quieran, sección 1, sección 2, hasta donde usted llegue, ¿ok? Hasta donde pueda entender, puede avanzar, no hay problema. Así que, guys, a pleasure to meet you. See you tomorrow for the second class. Have a good day tomorrow. Nice to meet you all. Thank nice to meet you. you. See you, teacher. Thank See you. you. Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 bye, guys. Bye, bye. Take care. See you. See you. Bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.